Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be diving into the world of cloud computing to understand the differences between IaaS, PaaS and SaaS, or infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service using Microsoft Azure as our framework. So let's jump right in. Before we dive into the specifics, let's quickly recap on what cloud computing is. So in simple terms, cloud computing is the delivery of computing services over the internet. These services can include servers, storage, databases, networking, software, and analytics, among many others. Microsoft Azure is one of the leading cloud service providers, alongside Amazon Web Services and the Google Cloud Platform. Today, we'll be using Azure as our example to explore the differences between the three main cloud service models, IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. So first up is Infrastructure as a Service, or IaaS. IaaS provides virtualized computing resources over the internet. It's like renting a virtual computer where you can manage the operating system, the storage, and the networking components. In the context of Azure, the IaaS offerings may include things like virtual machines, blob storage, and virtual networks. You can configure and manage these services according to your needs, but Microsoft takes care of the underlying hardware, maintenance, and repairs. So an example of IaaS in Azure is creating a virtual machine that could host a web application. You get to choose the operating system, install the necessary software, and manage the application itself. Azure takes care of the physical servers and the networking infrastructure underneath. Next, let's talk about Platform as a Service, or PaaS. So PaaS provides a platform for developers to build, deploy, and manage applications without having to worry about the underlying infrastructure. It's a level up from IaaS, as you don't need to manage the operating system or the networking components. So Azure PaaS offerings may include things like the Azure App Service, Azure Functions, and Azure SQL databases. These services come with built-in tools and platforms to support application development and scaling. So as an example, imagine you're developing a web application using Azure App Services. You don't need to worry about the underlying servers or the operating system, as Azure handles that for you. You just focus on writing your code, deploying it to the platform, and managing the app itself. Finally, let's explore Software as a Service, or SaaS. So SaaS provides fully managed applications, hosted in the cloud, and accessible via the internet. You don't need to worry about infrastructure, or platform, or even application management in this model. Although Microsoft Azure itself doesn't host SaaS applications, many SaaS application providers build and host their applications on top of Azure. Examples of SaaS applications built on Azure include things like Office 365, which is now known as Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, and Power BI. So, when using Office 365, you simply access and use the applications, such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, without worrying about servers, networking, or software updates. The SaaS provider, Microsoft, takes care of everything for you. So to recap, IaaS is like renting a virtual computer, PaaS provides a platform for developers to build and deploy applications, and SaaS delivers fully managed applications over the internet. Each model offers different levels of abstraction and management responsibilities. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS, and you'll join me next time for more in my Azure tutorial series. And you know the routine, hashtag like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me next time. Goodbye.